Okay, everybody. Hello. How's it going? Uh, as you can see, I'm going to do a little, like, analysis, shot-by-shot shot thing of this new Star Wars special look that came out at the D23 thing. Um, just to be clear, I have seen this trailer before. Like, this isn't, like, one of those reaction things or anything like that. But, um, yeah, it should be kind of interesting, probably. Uh, let's see. This is familiar, obviously. New Hope. One of my favorite movies of all time, in fact. Rock doesn't get a medal, very sad. Then we've got The Empire Strikes Back. This is all old stuff, so there's not really anything to analyze here. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Alright, there it sounds like uh, Luke Mark Hamill's voice there. My guess and my the hope is that that's him as like a force ghost thing in uh, this movie. He's like some he comes as a force ghost and like talks to Ray and stuff, and that's him. Uh, okay. Uh, Phantom Menace, by the way. Go. It's the only good part about that movie, no, not this. Uh, here's Attack the Clones. Five his favorite. Avenger the Sith. Then we have The uh, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. All old stuff. Right about here. Let's go get some stuff. Okay, so uh, this chat right here is mm, it's not much here. But uh, in the original trailer, um, there. We saw them writing on some thing, all these characters in the same outfits here. I don't remember what it was exactly. They kind of look like the Jabba the Hutt uh, palace, Jabba's palace thing. But, um, see this little ship right here? That could be what they came here on, that little thing. Uh, but there's not really much more to say here. And then, boom, we got a lot of creatures out here. I have no idea what, but, like, there's a lot of them. They're, like, flying kites, and it looks like they're having a big party celebration thing. And, like, obviously, if we go back, you can tell here they're, like, look at the looks on their faces. They have no idea what this is. So this isn't, like, like one of those, like, the end of the movie, and they're everyone's, like, all these different civilizations are, like, all celebrating and everything. No. Like, they have no idea what's happening. They just, like, came across this. They're, like, what is going on here? So I have no idea who these things are. They could be some race we've never seen. They could be something we know very well you can't tell from here. While editing this, I came up with a prediction just to have one. Uh, there could be Jawas. Just that's something. The only thing I got. So, uh, yeah. Continue. Okay, then we got Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia here. We saw the like pretty much the same shot with like the same background with this greenery here in the first trailer. So, nothing new. And then here, we got a bunch of resistance ships here just coming out of like hyperspace. Okay, and then this next shot we have a bajillion star destroyers. Like I had no idea they even had this many. Like look at look how far this goes. Like all the way down there, all these rows. Like that's cr like if you go back here. You see, once all these guys get here. This against this. Pretty big difference here, as you can see. A lot more ships, but that's not even the main thing. If you go back, look at the sky background area here compared to this. Obviously, very different. So, even though they kind of edit it together to make it look like it's happening at the same time, it's pretty clear that it's not. And then right here, I got Finn, and then this new character, I don't know who that is, I'm pretty sure I found her on the IMDb page, uh, Jana, I believe, but I don't really know, it doesn't seem like she's gonna actually, like, have, like, a major part in the movie, but I I'm not sure. Looks like they're, uh, in the Millennium Falcon right here, maybe. 
not sure. And I love this uh, new, uh, or not new, but I just love this design of uh, C three PO. By the way, I can I can tell they've changed a couple things. Like I don't think those red eyes are actually like how his eyes are gonna be. Like maybe there, I don't know. But um, the I love how like the uh, how she, like the perfect like uh, luster of his body here is like not super shiny. It's got a little bit of like rust to it. It kind of makes it feel more like the original trilogy, which I really like. And then there's just this giant laser. We don't know where it's coming from, but it just shoots at this. Like, we have no idea what's here. It looks like it's just shooting at nothing. Like, it's just like, nah, we just want to fire this. I hope it's not a fourth Death Star. <laughs> but, um, um, from here, it just doesn't really look like it's shooting at anything. I'm not sure what's, what's up with that. Man, it did a lot of damage, though. And then we got Ray looking like she's taking some anger out, chucking her lightsaber at a tree and slicing it in half, and then boomeranging it back to her. And then we get this right here, this shot right here, uh, is really interesting to me. Because if you look at the sky right here, it's just... Boom. Lightning bolt right there. Look at the sky right here. And then if we go back to right here, it's the same. It's... It's the same sky here. So this is happening at the same time. So my guess is, as you complete guess, is that this right here, this is the final climactic battle at the end or something. And um, here we, it's like uh, Kylo Ren's going, if you can find it, uh, himself going down to the surface of whatever planet, I don't know, uh, going after like some of our main heroes and stuff. Uh, himself. That's my theory. <laughs> Dirt while this giant battle's going on up above him. And then here, I'm. I want to believe that this is like he finds her, and then they start this giant battle. But like, it doesn't doesn't seem that way. You can't really see like the, the actual sky because there's just fog everywhere. But the lighting's very different. It definitely doesn't feel like that's what's happening. But there was, like, a part in the original trailer where they come across, like, some pieces of, like, the Death Star or something. And so this could be what they're on. They're, like, at, like a piece of the Death Star fighting each other here. Really cool little part of the trailer right here. It's cool that Rey, like, she finally actually gets it. Like, she's, like, a real, like, Jedi now, pretty much, so... It's really cool to like see like a good like classic lightsaber battle again. Yes, it's him. I want to hear what he says right before that here. Your journey nears its end. Okay. Yes, it's him. Well, that right there, obviously, that sounds like Emperor Palpatine. That does not sound like Luke Skywalker anymore. But it definitely sounded like him in the beginning. So then we get him, and apparently he's going to be a prominent in this movie. He's not dead after all. Um, and then here is the faint laughter again from him. And then we get the Darth Vader breath. And then, boom! <laughs> so, um, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. I really hope they're not like doing another turn to the dark side thing, cause again, that would just be way too much of old stuff. Um, it could be that they're, they're just trying to like throw us off, like honest, like you just like dressed up for like not only just to trick someone or something, but you, then you see that she has like a double-bladed red lightsaber, and you're like, no, that's not what's happening. She's not gonna be able to find that. So I think this is some like dark like twin something like a alternate version of her or something because you know there's all this talk about her past and her parents and everything and a lot of people were disappointed about how they did that and I wasn't I actually like the idea of them being nobody's but um so I think this will kind of be like the satisfying like answer to her past will be this like weird I have no idea how she looks exactly the same but I don't know, that's my guess you know what would be really cool is if she like that she like this was just like her new look, <laughs> like because she does look really cool like this, so that would be really interesting if that was like, you know. Anyway, uh, let's keep going.
I cannot wait for this. <laughs> I am so excited. My gosh. Um, if you didn't know, and now that I think about it, I have no idea how you would possibly know. But um, I was at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago with my cousin, which remember from that one Doctor Who quiz video we did and some other things. I don't know. Um, you can watch those if you click the card up in the top right corner. Right up here. Anyway, um, as I was saying, we attended Star Wars Celebration. That was way back in April. And we were there when they released the first trailer for this. And everyone around was just freaking out. Like, people were crying and stuff. Because, I don't know, it was crazy. We weren't actually in, like, the panel. But we were just there at the time. But, um, yeah, that was my little analysis thing. I've never done that before. And, um... I don't know, it was interesting. I definitely didn't go, like, really in-depth or anything, but, you know, I think it did an okay job. So, um, yeah, super excited for this. I cannot wait until December. And, um, yeah, that's it for today. So, goodbye.